hi guys welcome to my channel in this video I am going to show how to create an APK file for your Android project using Visual Studio in my last video I have created a full CRUD operation using SQLite database I am going to create an APK file of this project to generate APK file for your Android project, you have to follow some steps. First, you have to archive your Android project and then create a key store file. And using that key store file, package your archive file to create a APK file. So let's create the archive file for this project. To do that, we have to properly build our project. First, I have to build okay. Now, it's build now. Right click on your Android project uh, and you will find an archive option just click on it you will find an error first deployment is enabled for SQLite because first deployment option is enabled for debug option just click on those properties and Android option here we find first deployment option just uncheck this option and build the solution okay now click on archive it will archive successfully and in the bottom you can see creation date version identifier bundle format and estimated store size the identifier is how google play store identifies your app so you have to put a unique string for property chains we have to go property option and android manifest you will find application name you can change this application name package name here you will change our package name as help app you can set your application icon I will set the icon you can change version name version number and here you will find a minimum android version minimum android version is the earliest release of your android sdk that your application can run if you select lollipop or kitkat your application will not run any previous sdk and here we will find target app android version and here we will find required permission this gets pop up every time when you install your application and tries to use your application so make sure that you have select proper permission now save the settings build the solution Okay, now click on archive. You will see the chance here. But make sure that your application is, is release mode before create archive. I will select release mode and change the property and option first deployment uncheck and rebuild your solution. 
okay now click on archives cannot create the archive because the copy failed mdbs if you face there's errors change the archive location of your android settings i'll change the archive location change the archive location and uh, okay archive file is ready so to create a apk file for your archive files you need to click on this distribute button if you click on this button you will find two options ad hoc and google play ad hoc is pretty straightforward and it uses a key store to create a apk files and saves on your local machine and google play option where you have to need give your visual studio an api access you have to go to your google play console and you have to create a project which associated with google play and create a client id and client secret id you can keep your secret id that to your visual studio and you can publish your apk file frequently on google play using this option i'll create an apk file using ad hoc option just click on ad hoc here you will find all the key store file that you have create on visual studio here i have not create any key store file so now it's empty key store file is basically a certificate which wraps your archive file that makes it secure for installation and what that and that what google asks you to create a sign in your apk file before upload it on google play store so that so it has a public key it's a secure apk file and people can install it so click this add button here you will find some option you have to give a alias i will give the name is qlite app you have to provide a password full name organization city country code and just click on create button key store file has been created but you have to remember your password to update your application in next time select the key store file and just click on this save as choose a location where you can store your apk file i'll create a folder publish and just save and you have to put same password here that you have to use to create a key store file okay just click on open folder and the location publish okay you will find your apk file just install it in your android device okay this is my apk file now i will install this apk file in my device open this apps that's good that's apk is installed successfully and run this application 
go into this product page click add button You can delete to your reference. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.